So this is my new table saw. And I've been having a few issues with it. Namely, it keeps blowing the fuses. And I've blown about three fuses and I've had enough. So the problem is, on big machines like this, when they're starting, they require a lot of power. So what happens is, as soon as you turn it on, it sucks tons of power, and it's just to get that initial kick, just to get it started. So as soon as you turn it on, it goes zoop with the power. But once it gets up to its speed, then it eases off, and it doesn't require that much. But the problem is, this spike here is too much power. So the UK mains operates on 13 amperes, and I have a th or I don't know 15. Is it 15? I think it might be 15. But anyway, you can only buy 13 amp fuses. Now the unsafe thing would be to remove the fuse and connect it directly to the mains. But in that case, if I do anything wrong, it'll blow the breaker, which is even worse. So I'm not going to do that. But in that initial spike, it surpasses 13 amperes, which just burns through the fuse, and then the saw just doesn't start. And I've done that about three times and I've had enough. So what I've realized is this equation here, uh, P equals IR or power is equal to current times resistance. So I can either reduce the power and therefore reduce the current or I can increase the resistance. Now there's a weird and dodgy way of doing that but the best way is just to connect together loads of extension leads. So I've connected together three of, it, three of my extension leads and I have about 75 meters worth of wire now. I don't need it like splayed all over the place, it's wrapped up in coils. But that means now I've reduced, I've increased the resistance so the current and power has been reduced. And this means the current is no longer too high, it's been turned down a bit. And it just means at the start that kick won't break the fuse. However, this is only a temporary fix because it's not very safe. So in reality, what you should do is get some of these plugs. And this is what I'm going to do in the future. But until I get these installed, I'm going to do with my extension method. And this is because these plugs, uh, they have the same voltage, but they have an increased current of 16 amps. And this means you're less likely of popping breaker or breaking the fuse or whatever. If you want to see a bit more about my new table saw, it is lovely don't you think, you can watch a video here where I talk about installing it.